action is on the agenda tonight, courtesy of EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski, along with Ray Ferraro for this interconference showdown. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Shil Levesque is ready to drop the puck. The Oilers start with possession as we are now underway. Here's a short pass to Nurse. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Pugliarvi. And he comes up with it. Poked away in the offensive zone by Kane. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Now a quick pass to CeCe. Centering pass! How did that stay out? It just misses. Great work to get themselves into position to shoot it. Gotta get it on the net. Man, it misses the net. It's not even a real chance. Picked up along the wall by Puglia Yarby. Look at the wheels here. Whoa, he gets going down the ice, negates the icing call, so no face-off in their zone. Quick feed to Kreider. And here's the chance, all alone, to nine! I don't know what more could be done there. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. Taken by Truba. Can't connect on the pass. And that's just out of reach. And that's picked off. Carries it across the line. Right in the slot, and that's blocked. Looking to get it out, and no luck with that one. Takes that pass back at the point. Off the post, and into this, they score! He beat him with the quick release there, James. That thing hits the post, sure, but it's his release that gets that puck away too quickly for the goalie. Couple of things to look at here on the replay. Watch the positioning to deflect the puck, and then look how hard it is to track. The goalie's got all kinds of people all over the place trying to find the puck. Can't do it this time. Edmonton's got the game's first goal. Now they'll play in front. Best place to be, of course, is out in front where you set the pace. The other guys have to chase you for the rest of the night. And there's the whistle icing the call. Time of the goal, seven minutes, 12 seconds. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Nugent Hopkins wins the draw on their own end. Important draw to win so you're not chasing around in your zone. Played big in the moment there. Fogel's got it along the boards. Here he is in front. Moves it to Lafreniere. Through pass ahead. To his teammate. Oh, he keeps it out with a great reactionary stop with the toe. Keats stick handling in his own zone. The Oilers play it along the wing. Right up front, can't connect. And they get that puck down the ice. Quick pass to Ryan. Edmonton's on the attack. Great heads up play with the stick by Miller. Feeds the puck over to play. Intercepts the pass. Can't get it to go. Here's a short pass to Kako. Sends it over to play. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Puck scooped up by Nugent Hopkins. Centered out in front. Oh, just gets a piece of it with the toe stop. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Oh, wow, stops again. Tough enough to make the save unless you can see it. He's got to fight his way and find the puck. And that's broken up. Manages to hang on. McLeod's got it into offensive territory. Trying to clear the puck, and they get the job done. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Slides it across to Kulak. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Braun. Handles the puck. Hits an on man rush. Two on one. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Here in the late goings of the period, the Oilers have taken a 1-0 lead.
Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Slides it across to Kopp. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Moves the puck down low. The Oilers take over on possession. Trying to clear the zone. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. McDavid's won the draw here in the neutral zone. The Oilers have it now. Great reach by Vetrano. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Centering pass. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Just trying to make a defensive play here. Pretty good position, but the stick gets into the player's feet, and the trip is going to be called. Dreisaitl saw in this special teams unit, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get them on the board here, guys. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player. Let's it go for the back end. Puck grabbed by Hyman. Scores, and they take advantage. A really confidently run power play right from the way they entered the zone, the way they held onto the puck and moved it, and they found the open man. The goalie doesn't get a clean look at this with the traffic in front of the net. He's trying to find the puck, and by the time he does, it's behind him. The Oilers have gone up by two here in this second period. Really like the way they've gone about their business. Yeah. They haven't lost any of their aggressiveness. They've still stayed and tried to forecheck. I like it, and they deserve this two-goal lead. Passes on over to Kreider. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Good read with the stick to break that up. The Oilers take possession of the neutral zone. With some open space at center. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. Comes up with the stop. Picked up along the boards by Kreider. Here's a chance, and there's another stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. And it's a quick pass to McDavid. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the short. Well, it didn't like that after that shot after the whistle. Nurses. He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. Kreider's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Edmonton's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. With possession along the wall. Hammers the shot. Oh, what a denial by Shesterkin. And he slides it quickly to Bouchard. He grabs the puck here at the point. Edmonton's looking to break out. On the attack along the boards. And they can't convert to the play. Moves it quickly over to Strom. Slides the puck across to Truba. And that's a great hands up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Here's the pass. Nothing doing. And he takes a shot. And that's turned aside by Shusterkin. Stop that one. From one point man to another. Oh, that carries off the mask. And he shakes it off here after making the save. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? 
Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Oilers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Grabbed along the boards by Hito. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Lafreniere. And now it's grabbed by... Scores! The Blue Shirts deliver a Broadway hit! He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Oilers will play from the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Puck picked up by McLeod. Oh, tremendous athletic reflexes there with the toe stop. Oh, there's one more! What a stop! After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Taken by Kako. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. The Oilers are in transition. Taken along the wall by Schneider. Fails to find the open man. Moves it to Kulak. Sends the pass over. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. The Oilers lead in the game doesn't get stretched. It's a scoring chance, a good one too, James, but it hits the post and stays out. Great reach with the stick in the neutral zone by Keith. There's the whistle, offside is the call. McDavid's biggest asset is his speed, guys. That's his wheel zone ability, and when he's got the space to move, he can really fly, and it's how he loves to create his own luck. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Puts it on goal. That's glove by Shusterkin. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Keith. Moves the puck. And he passes it up ahead to play. It's a two-on-one rush. Poked away. Things start to get a little physical out there. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. There it is, that's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action, next. to go, Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Puck scooped up by Nurse. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And they won't connect on that one. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Lets it fly, denies him in front. From the boards, he takes that pass. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Slot shot from the point! Great read as he crouches down to block it. They go on the attack through center. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Puyo Yarby. From the left side, moves that up ahead. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Oilers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. The Rangers win the draw. You know the other club is a little tired after the icing. That's an important offensive zone win. Slides it back to the blue line. 
stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Look out, here they come on the attack. Loses his balance on the play. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Puck grabbed by McDavid. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Cops got the puck in his own zone. The Oilers move it in. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. And that one's broken up. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Oh, a little Catburger-like play with the stick. Nicely done. The Oilers get a hold of it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. That pass doesn't go. Here's a short pass to Cobb. Can't find his man. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Long lead pass into the open ice. And that pass attempt is deflected. This is when the coaches find out who's able to be trusted in a tight game. This one is not spread out yet. And this is going to go right down to the end of the wire. The Rangers take it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Keith. Nugent Hopkins takes it across the line. Sends it across. Slides the pass over to Kreider. Tries to get it to Fox. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Look at this, it's a penalty shot. This is the right call, clear in the break. You have to be able to shoot the puck. Getting tripped will lead to that penalty shot. And here he comes from center. And we are tied. Oh, beauty. This is different than a breakaway, even though it looks like the same thing. Nobody chasing you, everybody in the building staring at what the penalty shot will look like. New York's won the draw. Knocked away by Barry. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Savinajad's won it. Puts it in deep. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just missed the pass. The scoring chance goes away. He was totally locked in on that play. And now it's grabbed by Vetrano. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Here's a chance right in front. Puck picked up by Broussard. And not much on that one. Shesterkin's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. Getting into the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Taken by McLeod. Wicked blast! And he comes up with the save! Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Broussard's got it in the corner. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Unable to reach that one. Slides it to McLeod. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. And now it's over to Hedo. And there's the save. Moves the puck along the half wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. Keeps hold of the puck. And that's poked away. Quick feed to Lafreniere. Couldn't complete the pass. Moves it to Kreider. Receives the pass. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kreider. And that's knocked away. Handles the puck at the point from the top of the offensive zone here. Patrano's moving it ahead. 
punched it away in his own end. Great pressure on the offensive end by Zabinijad. And that brings an end to the third period. We are still tied, and that means overtime is looming in moments. One will win, one will lose. Overtime will tell the story. Puck is dropped on overtime. Let's find out if there's any heroes out there. Edmonton got it against the boards. From the point, looks to make something happen. Chance to win it, and he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Delayed penalty coming up here. Through center along the wing. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The drawn penalty gives you a great opportunity to win this thing in overtime. Edmonton's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. You want to be sure, but not overly deliberate here on this power play. Just because it's in overtime, it shouldn't change anything. Here's a blast. Denies him with a save. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hyman. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck to Braun. Takes the feed. Too many bodies in the way. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. And now he angles it across to Lindgren. Couldn't catch up to that pass. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Quick pass to McDavid. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Goodrow's called for tripping. He's off of the box. The Oilers could really open things up with a five on three power play. Oh, thank you very much. A power play in overtime, a chance to put this game away. You've earned the power play. Now you want to make sure that you cash in. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Angles it over to Kopp and sends it just out of reach. And he feeds it down to Braun. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Denies him, he got all of it. On the wraparound. Scooped up along the wall by McLeod. Miller's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the kill. We got a stoppage, let's get the call. Cops not gonna like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. The Oilers roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Edmonton's won the draw. Andrew Powell, two minutes for Trippy. Final minute for the win! And he keeps it alive! What a stop! Denies him again! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Sabinijad's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender, he got a little piece of that one. Away from harm's way, that's a good save. And they can't connect. Picked up along the wall by Hyman. Textbook stop by Shusterkin. New York's got the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Grabs control of it at the point. Great read with the stick. He scores! There it is! OT winner! Killers come up with a monstrous goal shorthanded here in overtime. Really a surprise. They're on their heels. They're shorthanded. They're trying to kill this off. Yet the puck turns over for them, and they take advantage. You think of some of the coolest players in the game have played here for the Blue Shirts, and the salute kind of is reflective of that, isn't it? Yeah, it, I think a lot of the cool players in the game the best.